Today I will show you how to place text behind the person. Go to 4 seconds and cut the video. This is how long I want the animation to last. So right click on the first part and copy it. Select the third layer, right click and paste it. When that is done go to titles, scroll down and find the neon titles, so open them and place the first one on the second layer. Match the duration of the title with the cut and select it. Type the text you want, for example, last right. Make sure to center the text and lower the size to 125. Scroll down to more text options, open them and lower the line height. This is enough and now it's time to create the animation. So go down to transform, add a position keyframe at the start, lower the text just a little and move it all the way to the left. Make sure you don't see the glow at the edge. When that is done move 2 seconds forward and using X move the text to the right. I want the text to stay right here. Move another second so at 3 seconds and move the text all the way to the right so it disappears. This is how it will look at first. As you can see the text didn't stop at all, what we will do is open the keyframe panel, select the middle keyframe, the one at 2 seconds and add the ease out and the ease in animation. As you can see the graph curve changed, let's go back to the start, render the timeline and this is how the text animation will look. When that is done right click on the text and create a compound clip, let's name it text animation and to save it press ok. Let's add another effect to the text, so go to effects and place the VCR distortion on top. Now you will get this effect. When that is done place the clip that we copied on top of the text, make sure it's fully covered and select it. Hide the keyframe panel, go to AI tools and scroll down to smart cutout, enable it and click on the middle to start it. Using the brush let's select the person, go to advanced mode and track both forwards and backwards. When that is done change the preview mode to black, that way you can see if you need to adjust the edge thickness or feather, but I think it looks nice. So press save, render the timeline, go back to the start, and this is the final result. For more tips and tricks make sure to watch this other video, and if you want to support the channel make sure to become a member, which I would really appreciate.